and I listen to them as well and I learn a lot um, but this video is not for that My name is George Ryan Zermago and today we are inside Cebu IT Park. Hello Real Estate, my name is George Ryan Zormago, Unit Manager for Philippine Homes and today we're gonna be talking about the situation right now and how it is impacting the real estate industry and more specifically real estate agents like you and me. I feel the need to share my thoughts because I think a lot of us are in the same boat. Um, we are looking forward to when this um, quarantine will be lifted but at the same time we are anxious um, where and how to start there's a lot of talk about the new normal and for us what does it mean okay. how do we how do we make sure that when we go out there we would still be successful this video is not just meant for my Filipino homes family um, but to every real estate agent that feels the need to listen to to a fellow agent um, share what can we do to move forward if you have also tips and and best practice that you can share um, please um, write it down in the comment below so that everybody can can also read and and be inspired and so that you can also help in any way that you can because personally I, I think in the real estate industry the real estate agents are the frontliners of the industry and we are the ones that deals directly with the clients and also with the developers and it is very important that we set the right mindset and we provide the right information um, um, once we talk to them okay I'm gonna share with you uh, two or three basic um, truths that we are experiencing right now that will never go away despite this pandemic number one everybody needs a home um, you strip everything you strip them of their cars and they will survive you strip them of their bags jewelries and even travel and they will survive but you can never strip them of a home this uh, pandemic highlighted that need um, it brought brought us back to the basic need and it gives uh, it gave us a, an appreciation that owning a home is very important um, not just not just to to the rich but also to every filipino out there number two uh, this pandemic is a great equalizer for us uh, regardless if you're a new or a new agent or an old agent this pandemic has hit the restart button. Now, how we adopt, how we learn, how we adjust will determine our success. And the third one is, this is interesting, and this is something that I am also looking forward and, and also getting more information on um, because there'll be a niche because of this. People who are more concerned um, about health, now, I'm going to share with you um, things that we can do um, while we are on ECQ. And I'm also going to share with you what do we need to do as real estate agents after ECQ. Now, while on ECQ, um, again, it's like everybody knows and basically we don't have a choice is the need for us to sharpen the axe. Now, you all know the metaphor. Um, there are two two workers that's being asked by by their master to go out there and cut a lot of trees the first worker went out there directly cut a lot of trees but the second one took time sharpened the axe and then when it's very very sharp then he went out there person who, who sharpened the axe got the job now in the real estate industry I think we can just do more than just sharpen one axe when we are at home let's try to let's try to complement our strength um, if you are already good at you know talking online, then you might as well you know try to explore about video editing. Um, try to to expand that so that you will be more complete, and then when you go out there, you will have more resources and and more acts that you can use. Number two, continue with the lead generation. Um, I know we are limited right now, but you know most of our clients. And, and if you don't have a client, there's a lot of buyers and investors 
that are frontliners right now um, nurses all with W seafarers um, you know just send a text or a note or an email or call or send them a message um, through Facebook you know asking how they are and if you're not comfortable um, on what to say just even just a forwarded quote think of positive things that would really mean a lot to them so go ahead and do that um, to all of your clients and to your leads as well you know just make a follow-up asking how they are because right now it's not really a good time to do hard selling but it doesn't mean that we should stop you know um, sending or posting um, opportunities um, out there either through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube you know, just let them know that you know this is available in case you're interested then you know you know who to talk to what if ECQ is lifted so there will be a lot of opportunities and I'm sure a lot of agents and developers even right now are preparing for that now what I would just like, what, what we would want you to do is you know, to master the art of selling online. This will be the new norm um, and, and my goal for you is try to get a sale without even meeting a client. You know, client overseas or a client from, from other, other provinces. Um, but to do that, you know, it's, it's not as easy as it sounds because number one, um, you need to sound and look trustworthy just sound and look sincere but number two is you also need to be credible um, because clients and investors do the research too it's not just enough that you know they take our word for it especially if they don't know us they will ask around search around how credible are you when people search online okay are you someone that they can really trust even without knowing now if the answer is yes then you are on your way to to having a successful and a a, a good platform online and you have to be available also so gonna be a lot of questions even the basic ones you need to be available for that and the last one is you need to be their one-stop shop everything they need you provide that's the only way that they will trust you but first here's the, the question that that I need to ask how much online presence do you have if investors will search online is your name gonna be on top of the list that's very important because if you are not a tech enabled agent you need to start right now there are traditional uh, marketing strategies that might stop and those are specifically more on the the one-on-ones the distribution of brochures or the even the flyering um, that might decrease significantly another thing is you know when when you're presenting it and, and presenting to your client that you know you can make reservation online the next question is what if they will make the reservation online so before you share that your your um, clients can can reserve online you need to make sure how to do it the other thing is you know the virtual tours are really important but you know you can just do it by by creating a video um, model units or even the construction site you can take a video and just show your face out there that hey this is the the status right now and and for for increase you know you can you can look me out there or search search for me here on Facebook and then for the virtual tour um, you know again you can just take a video because as you know videos are more powerful than pictures Aside from the mastering the art of selling online, when you do site tours or open house viewing, you need to proceed with caution. Again, things will be different. So I'm going to share with you things that you need to do, um, things that you need to bring, what not to do, and what you need to share. Um, now, during site tripping, it is very important that you're gonna need to bring alcohol and hand sanitizers. And aside from that, face mask. What to do? Maintain social distancing. And for those who are continuing to to um, to market properties, you might need to inject a little bit of quarantine or ECQ related information so that that will make your post relevant right now. Now, what not to do? Number one, is no shaking of hands or even the the beso beso. That that's that's gonna be something that's gonna make or break your deal right now. And the other one is do not cough especially in front of your clients now i i have here an, an acronym of do not cough the the cough letter c do not communicate fake news o do not offer something that you cannot deliver you you do not underestimate the knowledge of your buyers 
G, do not go into meeting or site tour late. And finally, do not hate clients for broken transactions. So do not cough. And lastly, what to say, I uh, need to highlight the home and the work at home capabilities of the property that you are offering to the market. Even if it's just a studio unit, try to help them visualize where the, the working table would be. You can imagine, the, oh, that this, this will be the, um, where I'll put my laptop or where I can work online. And then try to, to research um, if the property that, that you're offering has strong internet connection because that will be very, very critical. Um, and the other one is you need to investigate or do some research like how many units live or how many units are available in this floor. The less dense, the better. Most people are, are living on their savings and it, it will take some time for, for us to recover. Now, but it shouldn't stop us from, from marketing um, properties. But what I would recommend is right now, um, especially immediately after quarantine is lifted, to f shift your sales and, and focus on the, the high-end um, investors uh, because they will be the ones to take the first investment plunge. Having a high-end investor does not necessarily mean that they will only buy luxury properties or high-end properties. Try to offer um, even low-cost properties, but you know, do not... Do not just just send them or do not do not just offer it just for the sake of offering it because you know if 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 you are offering a rich investor a property for let's say like a, a, just one million they might be insulted or they might take it negatively so what i would recommend is you try to package it in such a way that they would think of it as an investment you try to offer it in bulk just offer them five units ten units um, and present another um, avenue for them <clears throat> To really take advantage of that um, of, of that market okay because you know if it's if it's cheap it's easy to resell resell it's easy to, to have it rented out and then if they have five or ten units then the more residual income or passive income that they can have and the other one is you need to speak their language most of the high-end investors speak in English so you might want to to have that type of communication when you talk to them or when you communicate to them the other one is keep your radar open um, for investors who would want to liquidate people who would want cash as soon as possible and I'm talking about brokerage brokeraging the other one is more in the Soho units, um, the small office home, home office units. This might be the more attractive properties um, once ECQ is lifted. So there will be not a lot of, of need to adjust um, because you already have that capability and that's something that you are permitted to do. And, and even if it's a residential unit, again, just like what I mentioned, you might want to, to have that, that visualization to your clients that where they can work um, if they are asked to work at home. And lastly, you know, reaching out to clients, we don't need to have a, a perfect script. Uh, we just need to go out there and let them know that, you know, if you need anything, I am available for you. Now, it's about reaching out and communicating just, just to get your clients back into the, the world right now because, you know, we, we haven't seen a lot of people recently. And finally, um, let's try to, to think with our heart right now and not necessarily with our think with our pockets. There's a lot of recovery that everybody needs right now and we need to change the mindset if if you have any comments or or suggestions or recommendations on on tips how to recover um from a real estate agent perspective just drop a comment below so that you know you can you can share it with with the rest of you know real estate invest real estate agents that are out there there's going to be a lot of real estate agents that that will leave the industry um but there's going to be also a lot of people who will be inclined to join um, in the industry as well. So if you're interested to, to join the real estate industry, you know, drop me a note um, so that I can, I can show you your options as well. If you are, if you like um, this type of sharing and if, you know, just like the video and, and if you would want to be notified um, for, future, for future videos um, that I will create, you know, just subscribe to my channel and um, I think that would be it. So thank you very much for, for listening and for watching. Uh, stay safe and stay at home.